Shit, is there even going to be a way to get back up? Okay. So yeah, I, I I did figure out a way for you to be able to like listen to music, uh, kind of. I mean, it's it's a little bit of a compromise. So I know I kind of explained it uh, in Discord, but now that I'm on voice chat, I can explain a little bit more in detail. So before the pandemic, uh, there were bots that you could uh, set up on your Twitch stream, and what they allowed you to do is if you were watching a, twi a Twitch stream, you could type like a bot command, like hashtag, you know, Linkin Park, um, you know, and whatever the song title was or whatever. And if you did that, it would auto, the bot would search YouTube, find that song, and it would play it, uh, you know, through the stream. But once, when the pandemic hit, uh, the music, these big music label companies started going after streamers playing music on their stream and hitting them with DMCA copyright. Now, for me, I was lucky because most of my streams uh, were not saved because they expired after like 60 days. But I did have some clips. Uh, most of them didn't really have any music, uh, but I decided to just purge everything just to keep my channel safe. But a lot of people got hit. Anyways, after that happened, you know, most Twitch streamers just had to quit using music in their streams unless they had, like, some sort of copyright-free music, which some of the cyberpunk music I'll play, well, all of it's copyright-free, so you can't get hit with DMCA for that. But then OBS came up with this feature that's really cool where when you are streaming... You can play the music, but once your stream is done, the VOD that is stored on Twitch's server does not contain the music. It basically mutes it. So the companies that are going after DMCA, they cannot give you a strike for the copyright written music. So that a lot that's one of the reasons why i still play music on my stream now there may come a day where i can't do it at all or i can only play copyright free but that is kind of a workaround that can be done and another big part of it too is i'm a small streamer they're going to target mostly you know bigger streamers uh moderate to bigger streamers and they're going to target streamers that are generally playing more modern music like drake or billy ellish you know, because those are, you know, those are the more, those are the big money makers and those are the ones that, that they're primarily going to target. But if you're playing like older music or music that's maybe not as popular or whatever, and you're a streamer that's small like myself, uh, doesn't mean you can't get caught, but it's very unlikely, at least at this point in time. However, what they're probably going to do is what YouTube did. But it's going to cost them a lot of money to do this, but I'm sure they're going to do this. What they're probably going to do is block streams playing music uh, just completely. Because that's what YouTube does. YouTube has this algorithm built in. If you're streaming and you're playing music or copyright written content, you'll get like a little bit of a warning. You know, like, you know, through I think either chat or some sort of like notification that you're playing copyright written content and that your stream uh, will be blocked. And uh, so you have like, you know, a moment to turn it off or whatever. And then if you don't, 
your stream, you can continue to stream, but it'll be blocked and nobody can see it. It'll look like your stream went down or it'll just be a black screen. So, uh, but it requires a lot of money to pay for an algorithm system like that. Uh, YouTube's had it for a while, but they're much bigger. But if Twitch comes up with something like that, which I suspect they're going to do at some point, then that's going to, that's when really music is going to be dead for streaming completely. Uh, unless you're using copyright free music. But until that day comes, um, I've got it set up now to where instead of you being able to type it in chat like you did way back when, uh, and by the way, that bot got shut down. That's why I stopped using it because I know you were asking, Hey, is there a way to, to do that? And, uh, and I said, no, because it's too complicated. And that's true because it, it used to be real easy by just using the bot. But now the way it's set up, because I actually looked into it again after you asked to see, you know, how if there was maybe a new system or something different. And unfortunately, the best way to do it is, like I said, go to YouTube and just make a playlist of like all the songs that you want or whatever. And then just send me the link of the playlist and then I can play that in the background. Uh, the only downside to it is uh, there's no way to really control it, at least from your side. So, like, if you want to skip ahead to another song, you can't do that. You just have to let the song play. In the past, the way the bot worked is you would just put in the song you wanted. You could play that song. And then if another and then you could just. You know, but you kept having to put in songs where this way you just can make a playlist and it'll just play. So, I mean, I understand why the copyright laws exist and I partially agree with them. And I say partially because it's mainly to prevent people from profiting from others when it comes to using their art and their music. But streamers, for the most part, they're not doing that. That's not why they're playing music on their streams. They're playing music on their streams as an added element uh, for the entertainment. But that's like people are not going to streams just to listen to music. I've never done it and I never would. It's just like, oh, I'm going to go watch this streamer and they've got good music too. Cool. What I think they, these labels should have done is offered a license to either Twitch or to the streamers where they can buy a license and play copyright free music. Just pay a one-time license. Something like that. But uh, they don't want to do that. It's it's corporate greed. But it, And I can tell you, it is not the artist. It is the record labels. Now, sometimes it is the artist, but a lot of times the artists that are opposed to it, like Metallica back in the day when they went after Napster, even now, I think Lars probably regrets doing that because you're fighting an uphill battle. You know, with, with the way the internet works, if people want to steal your music, they're going to do it. There's nothing you can do to stop it. And if you go after a company like Napster the way they did, all you're doing is pissing people off. And you're actually encouraging it more because now people are going to do it even more. It's kind of like when your parents tell you you can't do something. You're going to be more rebellious and want to do it anyways. Well, not everybody's going to be that way, but a lot of people would. Now, the only time I probably wouldn't play music is like I played music the other day when I was doing my mule character. But if I'm doing like a first playthrough and it's a game kind of like this, I probably won't play any music at all. But if I'm playing music, that means if if you want to listen to your own music, 
just send me the link and I'll drop it in. I'll mute my music and you can listen to whatever you want. Because I'm still going to listen to whatever I want. Or I can listen to yours. It doesn't matter. Don't think there's anything left over here. I do like this area. This area is uh, pretty well designed. be better to try to pull one at a time so let's do that Sweetheart. Shit. This one's more like a boss. careful with this one how many uh okay we got two Let me look around here real quick I'm probably going to need to kite this thing a little bit. You know, I haven't actually tried. I'm going to try this. Actually, it wasn't too bad. It's a bit quicker. Seems like a better solution than using the, uh, might be better to go with that when I do the bigger one. It's gonna take a bit longer though. If 
fact, I may end up, uh, okay, I'm going to do this. Shit, is he stuck? I mean, okay, he reset. Oh, God damn it. Put me down, motherfucker. <laughs> now they give me the route. A little late. Again, a little late. over here I guess so that but I guess when you go up the ladder you can drop off down that way okay not a big deal but. They drop sacrificial twigs. I didn't know that was like a repeat drop. I thought they were kind of limited in the game. Well, actually it could be. Some items only drop once, like the uh, those sacramental tears to do the respec or whatever. 
I thought those... <laughs> so, I made a, a big mistake. And I would not have done this if I'd have known. But, um... So, these lar larval tears. So, early in the game... Well, you get these throughout the game. And I think there's like a total of 20. Um, but they allow, they're your currency to respec. But they drop from several enemies in the game. And the game... And I felt kind of misled and I didn't, you know, know this because I, I didn't find this out till I looked it up. Um, when you kill the enemies that drop them, it is only a one-time drop. So it's not like you can go and farm them. Um, I think if you're backing up your save, it's not a big deal. But if you're not, like if you're on console, uh, then you'd kind of be stuck having to play multiple playthroughs. Um, if you run out of Laurel Tealers, or I guess if you wanted to go, uh, do New Game Plus. But, um, and that's if you're wanting to, like, switch up different builds. So, like, if you go in, let's see, so I'm a level 152 right now. If I was on console, I could go respec, sure. And I could go with a completely different build. But, because of the way the game saves work... At least on PS5. PS4 is a little bit more liberal because you can actually use a USB backup. That's what I would do. If I was playing this game, I'd play it on PS4. I don't know if you can do... I don't know if you can get the performance of PS4 on PS5, like a 60 FPS. You might be able to. And then that way you can get, get around the bullshit paywall of the... Well, no, you still have to do the... Well, you could do it to USB so you wouldn't have to pay... You'd only have to pay if you wanted to do online play. So I guess you could do it that way. But you're putting a lot of faith into Sony, and I'm not really trusting Sony these days after all the bullshit, so... Sony is now going to be porting a lot of their games to PC. I'm even more inclined to sell my PS5 now. Even if I have to wait for God of War or another two years or whatever. Ah, it's dark. So I'm going to take a quick bio break. I'll be right back. Okay, I am back. Oh. I don't think we have to worry about that. We're not going to be going down there. So... I think we've run over to the other side. drop that blight spell. I don't think we need it anymore.
wasn't sure, but it looked like the only way. So people have been using this exploit of some kind of warping exploit where you can go into the menu and if you take like a warp, uh, you can select something like wrong warp and it'll put you to the closest one and they're using it as uh, to get to the warp over here and unlocking this area early and getting the Somersone 7 that way. Um, and I've seen videos on it and it does work. but. Uh, I didn't really want to be using any kind of bugs or exploits to uh, to get the items that I have. Everything that I got on my mule character, I did le did legitimately within the rules that From Software laid out. But I was a little concerned that they might change those rules. So. <laughs> tracking although a little weird that didn't do much damage oh wait a minute i think we can change our talisman because we don't have that yeah we don't need this anymore oh crap where the fuck did he come from i just killed oh he's a skelly and he's already back to full health that's fucking great Okay, that's what I've been expecting. Something with a little more, you know, beef. Oh 
shit, there's another one. That fucking archer is really annoying. Shit, look at this asshole. Talisman that gave like uh, more attack for guarded enemies. Second, Janine. Uh, I heard there will be Squid Games. Yes, there is. Uh, I think originally when they did the the show, did you watch it yet? Um, I believe when they 
initially made the show, it was intended to be just like a single, like a single season. But because it did so well, um, they decided that they were going to go ahead and do another season. That was what I read. I don't know if that's actually true. Um... I don't think there would be anything wrong with uh, maybe doing a second season. I might be screwed here when I do this. Oh. Uh, it's not too bad. But yeah, that was a great show. Um, I I suspect that the, from what I heard, that season two it's going to be a while before we get that, and it's it's kind of weird because a lot of these um, shows, like that show for example, and there's others like it. Uh, Ozark is another one. They they seem to take a really long time to produce. And I, I, I'm not really sure why that is because the shows are generally eight to ten episodes and they're taking like two years to to make them. And but if you look at other shows, uh, obviously every production is different. But if you look at other shows, you can see other shows that are like double the amount of episodes and they're able to do it in a year. Um, so I, I don't know if it's a budget issue uh, or what the case is. Like uh, another great example, I don't know if you have ever watched Westworld, but Westworld is finally going to premiere its uh, season four. Now, honestly, I wasn't too harsh on that because uh, the pandemic you know the writers and all that they were you know they wanted to wait they even put out a notice saying that they were going to wait before pushing forward for the next season because of the pandemic so I'm kind of glad that they did um, season 3 was arguably their worst season um, because of the direction they took it it just it started to kind of go more down that woke path and um it, it kind of it kind of pissed off and turned off a lot of people um, and you'd have to watch the show to kind of you know get the idea of what you know what I mean by that The show, the it, it's a good show, but it does focus a lot on. So when I say woke, uh, I'll explain a little bit what I mean by that. And and Star Wars, this is one of the reasons why I don't watch Star Wars. Uh, but Star Wars is very overt about this, whereas Westworld is. It's been a little overt, but not near as bad as like Star Wars. So basically, the message that is being injected into a lot of these TV shows is that women are strong and superior to men and men are idiots and weak and buffoons and are just incompetent. That's the way men are being depicted in a lot of these woke shows. Uh, movies and TV shows. That's why I don't it's why I don't watch the, the Star Wars anymore. Ever since Lucas sold Star Wars it has just been a disaster. Um, and the funny thing is, if you go back and look at like movies like what I grew up on, it was never like that. It was never about belittling women or belittling men. It was actually the opposite. It was men and women working together and helping one another. And 
enhancing and utilizing each other's strengths to work as a team as how it should be because women have their strengths and weaknesses men have their strengths and weaknesses and by working together they accomplish something that was how it was depicted back when i was growing up and movies like uh the aliens franchise where you see um sigourney weaver's character you know with um you know with the other characters that she interacts with same thing with like sarah connor and the terminator franchise um you know and there's others as well but i mean when you look at what they did with luke skywalker in the star wars the the newer films i mean it was just disastrous and i've heard oh by the way i did look into why there's been so much controversy about the obi-wan kenobi tv series and the the woman who's playing one of the main characters who happens to be a black woman so uh i don't need to tell you the story to tell you the problem so here's the problem you have this this woman who is um playing a character in the show and it's kind of betraying the original story and it's also be it it basically they are making her this super villain or, or superwoman type of villain in the in the show and literally making obi-wan kenobi look like a pathetic loser very much like what they did with uh luke skywalker and fans of the series are pissed about that now i'm not pissed about it because that's not star wars star wars died for me when lucas sold it to disney so whatever all this star wars content that's been created from disney i mean they can create it i'm not going to watch it i don't acknowledge it it's not for me um but there are people that do consume it and it, they get triggered by it uh because i don't know they allow disney to get under their skin or whatever but it's easier when you just acknowledge that star wars is not star wars anymore it's disney wars it's the forces female because Catherine kennedy is literally holding the reins in the in a lot of the development of what happens in these shows and movies and she's a feminist i don't even need to go into description there on the problems with that so anyways as a backlash or a way for disney to attack the fans because the fans don't like this character they're basically saying that they don't like her disney is saying that the fans don't like her because she's black and they're calling people racist for it it's not the reason the reason they don't like her is and i can't give an opinion on this because i have not watched the show but basically what fans have said and i've watched some reviews from reliable fans that i reviewers that i watch apparently the character is not very good and the actress uh which is moses i don't know her last name uh isn't particularly very good at playing the role um so she has gotten some attack on social media from other people um and i mean there's always going to be people that are going to be ugly to other people just because but that but those people that are attacking her and saying like ugly things they are not representing the star wars fan base as a whole these are sick people that are just as bad as they are if not worse because they're going online just spewing you know horrible things to this actress which you shouldn't do if you don't like the content that's okay just don't watch it but attacking her that's you know you shouldn't do that um and i've seen interviews with her she she's actually like she's just doing a job from what i gather um she she doesn't seem to be pushing like even though she's being she's she's being paid to push an agenda i don't get the impression from what i saw from her interview that like she's just happy to be you know employed to have the job and the opportunity and good for her but that's the problem so disney is basically projecting 
onto the fan base that if you don't accept her, you are a racist. And uh, that's a big, a bit of a problem because when I was growing up as a kid, if you were labeled as a racist, that was a very serious allegation to put onto someone. But the woke culture, which is primarily, at least here in America, the democratic left, that terminology and that saying of calling somebody a racist, it, it doesn't mean anything anymore because like, I don't know if you know comedian Bill Burr. Bill Burr is a, a white Caucasian male. He's a comedian, one of my favorites, by the way. Uh, I think he's about 50. And he got married, I don't know, five, six years ago. And the woman that he married is a black woman. And because he makes jokes about the woke culture, they call him a racist. Now, I used him as an example because you cannot call somebody who, and honestly, racist against what? Because, I mean, it seems like the word racist, initially back in my day, it was more like if you're a racist, you're racist against other nationalities other than white. But the thing is, is it, now the, the left has built this racism, but they've tried their best to turn it around to get people to get every nationality to hate white individuals, white men or white women, probably mostly white men because they don't want to hate white women because that would go against the feminist agenda. It's one of the reasons I quit supporting the Democratic Party. I used to be a Democrat. I don't take pleasure or enjoyment in admitting that, but I did used to be. But I got more educated on all the bullshit and socialism and capitalism I no longer support the left, and I never will again. But, um, yeah, it's it's unfortunate. Um, and I've heard, you know, from the reviews of the show that I've heard, it's it's been really bad, uh, which I expected. That's why I didn't bother watching. The only Star Wars show that I've heard that's been good out of this, you know, since Disney's taken over, was The Mandalorian. I heard The Mandalorian was really good. And I had actually planned to watch The Mandalorian until they fired Gina Carano and what they did to Gina Carano. And after seeing what they did to Gina Carano, I was just like, I don't want to give Disney a, a cent of my money. Not one penny. And I haven't yet, and I'm not going to. Eventually, I'll probably get around to watching it. Um, you know, I'll probably download it or something or watch it at a friend's house or something like that, but... You know, I, I'm not interested in supporting Disney by any means. the problem is is younger generations who are I would say like the snowflake generation Gen Z and then even some millennials um, and not everybody in the generations is going to be this way but they're too young to know what it was like before all this woke garbage so they're seeing it and it's it's an indoctrination it's a form of grooming it's it's uh basically creating uh and putting out propaganda as a media tool to brainwash individuals and uh and i remember you know i was thinking about when i was younger and i used to watch certain things or whatever and i remember you know, being a kid and even going up into my teenage years before I got to my younger 20s, before I really started to question things. If you are watching things from a... Because when you're young, when you're a kid growing up, it's very common to look at adults uh, as a form of almost like godlike. I know that sounds silly, but you look at adults as a child as, you know kind of gods in the sense you're they're supposed to tell you what to do you're supposed to you know and it uh and do what they tell you 
And when you see other adults doing certain things, you, you think, oh, okay, that's how people are. That's the norm of what you should be doing. Um, that's why it's very, you know, important that if you have kids, you have to, you know, be very mindful on who you allow your children to be around because those first six years of a child's life and even, you know, going past that are very crucial. Children are like sponges. They learn a lot from the world around them. Um, and that's, that's a lot of what this programming from this woke culture nonsense is trying to do. Um, I actually found a really good video. I was going to send it to you. Uh, by Cassie J from when she did the red pill documentary um, and she interviewed this feminist from England um, she's about 85 now and her story I had never heard it before it was mind blowing like the shit that I heard from her about feminism it was it's pretty mind-blowing. I don't know if I can drop here. Okay. This game is very deceiving when it comes to uh, drops. Like, sometimes it looks like, oh, yeah, I can drop there, and you die, and sometimes you you can, and you're not really sure. Inconsistent, I would say. Even just talking about some of the stuff that I talk about right now, if a Twitch admin heard me talking about it, I'd be banned immediately because it would be considered hate speech. It's not hate speech. It's they have a difference in opinion and they want to Boy. silence your opinion. That's why I've always said anybody that's a long term follower of mine, if you notice that my channel ends up being deleted. I'll be on YouTube because that's the only other place I'll go or can go after this. YouTube is a little more uh, forgiving when it comes to. Wow. Whoa. Oh, got some armor. Um. Yeah, YouTube is a little more forgiving. It's it's a bit harder to get banned on YouTube uh, for speech. Uh, you can, but like what I'm saying here, I would not get banned from YouTube for. Uh, but Twitch definitely would. summon sign oh there must be a boss how many potions do we have uh not very many if there's a boss then we probably need to hit a, a grace or something oh shit oh shit we just walked into a fucking boss oh hell what both god skins are you kidding me fuck that I don't even like these fuckers when they're alone, let alone in a pair. It's like fucking Ornstein and Smo.
fucking die. I need more pots. He's almost dead. Oh shit. Okay, he's dead. Ah. Uh. Oh shit. I'm fucking dead. Oh no, shit. Whoa, what? What the fuck is this? What is this shit? I need health. Well, at least I'm regenerating regenerating some health, but I kind of whoa, yeah, I got fucked. Yeah, that didn't go so well. So, what the fuck is that? They they summon each other back? Alright, how many health potions do I have? Okay, I've got ten. Um... Hmm. I think we could do it with ten. Yeah. Uh... We got to get back to the boss without using up all our fucking potions. Oh, there it is right there. I can't get in. Why can't I get in? <laughs> I couldn't even get in the fucking thing. Do I have to kill these assholes before I go in there? won't let me in. I've only had that happen one other time. That was um, when I was fighting that chariot boss. Or no, not chariot, uh, horse boss. the fuck just happened. this asshole. Fuck. What the hell? Whoa. What is going on here? Like, why are these guys not fucking dying? Wow, 
What the shit? They just keep summoning each other. I'm fucked! I'm fucked. No, no. <laughs> just... Dude, I don't even know what this is. They just keep summoning each other. Maybe you have to kill them at the same time. It's weird. Uh, let me see if I can change my chest because I could probably do something. Do a little more damage there. Uh... And we're doing more jump attacks, so let's go with our jump attack. Let's do that. Let's drop that. Doing pretty good on weight. Alright, we'll go with that. So you can't enter from there for some weird reason. Oh, but I think you can enter from here. Yeah, okay. Weird. his ass. Hit! Dude, you should be dead. At least I can line up sight him a little bit. I'm staying right here till he fucking finishes that bullshit. Enough, dude. All right, killed his ass. Where's the other one at? All right, summon up more. Oh, they're fucking dead. I got those fools. And I didn't use Mimic. I wanted to uh, stop using Mimic for the end game. Kind of felt it was becoming too much of a crutch. Um, what did we get? Okay, we got some souls or runes. That was a weird fight. Like, he just kept summoning up 
Like, I didn't know when this shit was going to end. Uh, we have enough to level up one. Oh, we needed mind. Yeah, we're kind of short on mind. In fact, if I were to respec, I'd probably drop... Because I like to have a hundred mind. Probably take four points from, like... Maybe two from strength and dex, but yeah, I'll just keep leveling up. So I need four more points. So that would put us at uh, 157. But if I were to take... Um, like two points from strength, two from dex... I mean, shit, I'd even give up some health, but that put us at 156. fight wasn't like particularly real difficult um just confusing i think the way it works is regardless of whichever one you kill the other one is going to resummon but the the health pull at the bottom is only going to go so far so it's like i guess it's like more of a cumulative health pull until you you know kill them all the way down I'm, you know, when you deplete the, the big health pool. Um, yeah. It's not, not too difficult. So this is where we dropped, right? I think I'm gonna, I'm gonna switch this for uh, yeah, this one. I think I'll do that. So we had dropped from over here. So didn't we, I think we came down these stairs to get into the boss room, so. tactics there.
Okay, this overlooks the boss room. That's the grace that we started at. There's this faith weapon. Um, I think it's called the Blasphemous Blade. I don't think I have it. Uh, I can't use it anyways. Uh, yeah, I don't have it on me, but I do have it. But what it does is it, it does the same thing as this. Uh, whenever you kill an enemy, it restores HP. In fact, I think, um, if I remember right, you don't have to you could actually have it in your second hand on your back and you it restores hp uh i know i've got it in my storage so the next time i go to the grace i'll pick it up and try it I think this is the way we wanted to go. Ah, that was bad timing. That was not what I wanted to do. That's what I wanted to do. I decided on the wrong uh, item. Yeah, how the fuck do I get over there? I'm literally running around in fucking circles here. Is there a false wall or something that I'm missing?
I've been meaning to try to like keep that in practice to finish off enemies that just have like a little tiny bit of health. Uh, but I've been forgetting. Yeah, like I don't know how to get over there. I didn't even notice that, that dragon head right there. Maybe we need to go up. in here for some reason like they purposely made sure there was no lighting over here whatsoever all right let's try going up
Okay, so there's a level right below us that we've been trying to get to. I, I now see where we're at, but um, can't get to it from right here. I guess dropping over there is one way. All right, let's hit the stone and we'll drop the other way. grab that blasphemous blade. I'm kind of curious about that. It also might be dependent uh, as far as healing uh, based on um, the, the actual weapon level. sure that I had that weapon. I don't see it in here, though. I remember I had to kill um what's his name the dung eater yeah because I'm pretty sure the dung eater is the one that drops it Unless I'm confused and I did it on my other character, my template character. Let's do this. hold is burned raised to the ground don't worry I don't blame you I'll continue spirit tuning just the same as before which is why I need your help persuading Master Hugh to leave his roots are so knotted in this place he won't last much longer if he stays here his shackles are broken he's a free man now it's high time he put the round table behind him Dude, what the fuck happened here? Hold on a second, I just want to see if dung eaters over here. Fuck, he's not. Um, there's one other place he might be, actually. Nope. Well, we'll check it, but he's probably going to be gone. I knew you'd be back. Lay out your arms. Let's get smithing. God sling weapon. Here's one. My masterpiece to slay a god. That's all I've lived for. And my promise to quit. And my promise to Queen America. 
but do me a favor and do. Do look after the girl. Weren't you listening? As I've always said, you came to challenge the demigods and their god to slay them. And as long as you do, I will always smith your weapons. It is what I wish. To smith a weapon for you to slay a god. I can't hold on much longer. I'm going the way of the... Round table. It was a crayon. A crayon has to smith your weapons during my time here. Allow me to call, call, call you this just once before it ends. My lord. For, for that is what you are. This is kind of depressing. Everybody's all fucking piecing out and shit. It's all burned. So I don't think I can kill the dung eater because um, I think I've already gone so far into the game where he's probably not going to be there. We can go check on him. do you have for me now? I am a finger reader. I will remain here until their dialogue ends and the fingers speak again. Do as you please. Take whatever course seems most worthy to you. Now you may go. <laughs> You'd force this tired old crone to work even now. Harder task master have I never met. Now, go forth. Do what you believe. the herd tree, didn't you? Then the round table is soon to follow. Ah, no need to fret about that. The round table holds serve to put a tarnished upon the throne of Elden Lord. And if the herd tree needed to burn for that to happen, then the round table must go as well. I'll stay at the round table for a time. I must learn all that can be taken from this place and sear it into my memory. How could I call myself the All-Knowing if I did any less? So, the Halic Tree. Now but a husk. I heard speculation Mikola embedded himself in the Halic Tree. But, before he could finish, someone cut the tree open and absconded with his infant form. Indeed. It seems those words held weight. How vexing, that the All-Knowing didn't have the full story. Perhaps the Queen's sorrow was justified. Ah, my apologies. Lost myself for a moment there. The information you shared is of great value. As promised, your reward. A secret right, known only to me. You are a true fellow. All I ask is that you remain constant. The 
the pursuit of knowledge is without end. For knowledge is never a thing complete. Thus, I maintain the mantle of all-knowing. Perhaps the same could be said of guidance. Who's to say whether we'll remain who we are once the fight is finished? What do you think? As one who aspires to become Elden Lord. Well, what is it now? Well, what is it now? So the only reason I can think of why they don't give you these bearings until literally the end of the game is because it's supposed to help you with New Game Plus. Maybe that's where they want you to do weapon experimentation. I can't even begin to go into how much I disagree with that design choice. It's just fucking stupid. check a couple things. We're going to check on Dung Eater first. Um, I think it's over here. Yeah, I think I did fuck it up because I, I remember when I was looking at my inventory a minute ago, you're supposed to, uh, yeah, you're supposed to take these, uh, seabed curses to the dung eater before going to the end game like I did. And then that would progress his quest and I could have got a sword. It's not a big deal. I can always drop it to this character, but. I mean, once I'm done with this character, I'm done. I'm, I've got... <clears throat> I'll play with my other character. <clears throat> I'll have a, a lot more flexibility with that character. Um, But it would have been nice to test out that sword. But uh, we can go see if he's there. I don't think he's going to be. I'd be willing to bet he's not going to be here. <clears throat> uh, basically, what he would do is he would invade. Give it a second here. Pretty sure he's not going to invade. Okay. Yeah, that's not going to work. Um, one other thing I do want to check before we go back is... Um, There 
there's another quest with a uh, TANF. Yeah. Ah. Cool. Yeah. So. Hmm, I might be able to do this quest. So this is the head of uh, Reinark, the serpent boss that we killed, like really early in the fucking game, and we probably shouldn't. <laughs> And she is literally, like, I think she's eating him, which is a little bizarre. Okay, so I did some research on this particular item because I accidentally killed Patches on one of my other mule characters, the first one I made. Um, <laughs> it was an accident. But anyways, Patches gives you this item later in the game and you're supposed to give it to her but she doesn't really do anything with it um but people have speculated that they're believed that in the dlc that it's probably going to continue part of the quest line for patches so which is why i went ahead and made a new fucking mule character what is it i have no need of that i must continue devouring my beloved lord oh you Allow me some time. Our Lord's carcass is vast and not easily consumed. Dear Rikard, please find purchase within me. I wish to be your serpent, your family. One day, let us devour the gods together. Dear Rikard, I wish to be your one day. Okay. So, I don't think... So, I did research this quest pretty pretty heavily because I fucked up patches by killing them and I wanted to know, like, you know, how, how it was going to affect the game. Um, and one thing I learned... As of right now, it doesn't really affect uh, if you kill patches. And that item I just gave to her doesn't really yield anything. Um, it's more the potential of opportunity later that it could because patches disappears. He doesn't really die. He just disappears. So they really believe it's going to be in the DLC and he can't be in the DLC if he's dead. So that's why I had to make a new character. Anyways, um, if I kill her, her crucible knight shows up and if I kill him, I get a spell. So, um, actually, where are we at on our, okay, we're fine on our runes. All right, let's fucking kill her. Ah, my lord, my God. It's kind of funny because you you kill her and he's not he's not really a good uh, bodyguard if you think about it All right, I just need to buff up I didn't know how fast he was gonna show up part of the quest I think you could actually do this before going to end game because I was kind of wondering if I could get because that spell is actually pretty good in PvP uh, from what I've seen from other people doing PvP but um, I was kind of wondering do you have to wait uh, I don't think you do I think you can uh... okay 
dude. Got all her shit. Um, I'd have to look at the quest line again, but I'm pretty sure you can do all of this before even going to, um, you know, past the, the capital. Because uh, one of the things that I wanted to be able to do with my mule character is collect pretty much like all the spells that would be potentially good in PvP. Um, I've bought all the spells I can get right now on my mule character, but uh, I still have to progress it. It is a, a SL1 character, so there's still spells I haven't gotten. Like this boss is still up, and that unlocks some spells. And then there's spells I, I'm sure, like in some of these other dungeons or whatever. This was this fight in here is probably one of the best fights in the game, as far as like visuals. Uh, visually, it's just an amazing looking fight. All right, so we're gonna head back over. I think I need to go to that other, uh, yeah, I have to go to that other, this one. Yeah. Okay. So I believe we drop there and that goes to the next part. Okay, so you could go either either go up or down. All right. Whoa! That's funny. His fucking body parts came off his his body. <laughs> I think the only thing I really want with this build is just more, um, whoa, motherfucker. Uh, is more mind. I think, uh, let's see, let me take a look at this. I think for this build, for a quality build, I'd want 60 Vigor, 16 Mind, uh, 30 Endurance, 50 Strength, 50 Dex, uh, and 15 Faith. Uh, wouldn't mind having, like, uh, maybe 10 to 12 intelligence just so I could actually use some certain items in the game. So, um, so that would be four, four, so that'd be eight. So my character would be about 160 ish. Uh, if I could drop a point somewhere. One sixty one, and then if I put in three points, so one sixty five, a little bit under, would be about the perfect uh, stats for the, for a quality build. That'd be sixteen mind, fifty fifty, and strength and dex, uh, twelve intelligence. So I could use like there's a shield that I wanted to use. There's a couple spells too. Um, yeah, that'd be it. So I'd probably would do that if I were doing a quality build. It does go past the 150 that people recommend, but if you're not doing PvP, it doesn't really... In fact, I actually saw... I was watching Ouroboros doing PvP, and he had a character he was doing PvP at 167. So I guess the 150 is not, like, set in stone. Because he was able to invade people no problem at 167. But he 
use on console as well. It's unfortunate PC do doesn't really have a as large a pull when it comes to PvP. But um, I, I don't know if I'm really going to mess with PvP in this game as much. I, I, I kind of wanted to, but I'm not as inspired to do it just because um, there's a couple problems with PvP that I see. Uh, one, there's way too much damage in this game, way more than the other games. And uh, two, because of that, uh, the amount of speed that you can output damage is really, really quick. So even if you're 125 and if you've got like a dex build or even a caster build, you can put out so much damage so quickly that you don't have any time to recover, learn from your mistakes and then and fight back. It's kind of like I wouldn't go as far as say you're one shotted, but it's a it basically turns into a one shot because you're getting comboed so quickly you can't do anything to recover. And at that point, it's not really PvP anymore. It's really comes down to whoever gets the whole shot. And basically that's the starting gate. Whoever gets out of the gate first is going to win that match. So it's not really about skill at that point. It comes down to latency and things like that. I'm not going to do it. It's not, it's not worth my time, especially with all the research that, you know, uh, is involved. Uh, oh shit. <laughs> especially with all the research involved to learning how to maximize and maximize certain weapons, armor or your build, and then learning how to bring them together cohesively to having a good, uh, build strap. And it's unfortunate, but that is hopefully one of the things that uh, from software. What the hell? I jumped down there before, no problem. And the reason I know that is because I've been watching people do PvP and seeing uh, what they're doing, and I'm like, well, that's not going to work. Yeah, that's still not working. I guess I need to do a running jump. Like, even in Demon Souls, the only reason I quit doing PvP in Demon Souls is just because of how horribly skewed the host uh, had favor over invaders. They had, like, twice the health. Uh, they were able to summon multiple uh, people. So it's one person against three or four other people, uh, all of which have more health, higher level, and uh, potentially could even have max level weapons so it just got to the point where like it didn't make any sense to even bother to continue with it because again it's not pvp at that point it's just you're just going to uh to get slaughtered there's no there's no competitiveness there that wind does damage. I thought it just staggered. Like earlier when I fought the dragon, the dragon had an ability like that, but it didn't do damage. All it did was like stagger you. All right. Lesson learned. That's another thing too that I noticed about this game that I don't I don't like being dependent on buffs. Um, actually, let me go over here. 
So you do get these room buffs and they all have, you know, certain abilities. The most uh, popular is obviously Godric because it raises all your attributes. Um, this one's pretty nice. Like, uh, if the runes weren't that difficult to acquire, I could see this being something that I would run maybe even over that just because this is kind of overpowered. This is extremely overpowered. Um, this is basically does what this does. Uh, although it might give more HP and FP and stamina than this slightly, but this does all attributes. So, um, and the rest of these are just kind of pointless. But the thing is, is in order to, to use those buffs, you need to use these rune arcs. I have 44 because I haven't been using them. And the reason I don't use them is if you die, you lose your buff. And you could easily just burn through these very quickly. Um, and it's not even if you're just bad at the game. I mean, you're going to die through the game uh, on a first playthrough. So, like, let's say you're at a boss. Okay, sure. You can go in. You could end up burning through 20 of these before you, you know, finally kill the boss. So, and here's the thing. It raises all attributes. Um, this buff raises all attributes by five. So you're getting, was it eight times five? That's 40. Was it, I think it's 40. Um, I thought it was 20 extra points. Maybe I'm wrong on that. That does seem a bit excessive. You know what? Let's try it real quick. I'm just curious. I tried it before, but... Okay, so it shows it here. Okay, so yeah. So, yeah, all my attributes went up by five. So that's 40 extra points. So it would literally take me from a level 153 to like 193. That's essentially what that does. And when I was hearing all these people saying, yeah, you want to stop at 150 for your, you know, for your end game, your playthrough, I'm like, I guess that would make sense if you're using these buffs, but if you're not using them, I think going past 150 to maybe even as high as 170 would be totally fine. So. I don't think those can be used in PvP, and I, I, don't, I, don't, I don't think that would help at all. I, I do understand now why all the hardcore PvPers were against the 150 meta, uh, but that still doesn't make sense either, because it, it, by being restricted to 125, it benefits certain builds are going to get a huge advantage over other builds because of the way stats work in the game. So 125 is would be broken and not uh yeah, I wouldn't I wouldn't recommend it. for that opening. Ah, 
Ah, that fucking wind attack, man. This is such a cool, cool area, this design. I think my least favorite areas in the game are um, the snow area. It was very bland, not very inspired as far from a design perspective. And then uh, the lower part of this area, the upper part was pretty cool, but the lower part, all this down here, not very good. But the rest of the game, as far as from a design perspective, very well done. Oh, there's a grace. grace we just had a grace right there oh wait a minute is this what this is where we fought the god skins i am so fucking confused why did i was this oh Like, I don't remember seeing this shit. Did I miss this? I remember looking at the dragon head. Maybe I did. Maybe I just didn't look over here and see that, but... probably so dark I probably just missed it. I'm going to go back and look at the video on that. change my talisman when I get up to that boss uh, wherever the fuck he is oh 
Oh, we took off the fucking bow. a lot stronger than he was.
Oh shit, there's another one. Is he running around? Yep. Look at this asshole trying to run around behind me. What a motherfucker. to that that boss Where the fuck is he? You can't even see him now. So I think I'm supposed to drop somewhere around here. Just come out right here. Very well. Shit, dude. Are you fucking kidding me? It's a crucible night? Motherfucker. I hate those motherfuckers.
I was gonna put on that health regen. Okay, I'm back. 